Hey guys, I wanted to start by Street Blush Showcase episode 66 with me, Jack Morris from Man on Fire Films, where right now I am 100% sober and totally didn't forget to record this this week and started drinking. That didn't happen. That is a thing that has not happened. Our first Street Blush for today is Puska, Coward Killing Time by Puska, and uh, genuinely can't remember the replays this week. Wow, that looks suspicious, doesn't it? Why don't you debate in the comments whether that kick would have got all those dismembers? Because I have no intentions of trying to prove it this week, because I can't be bothered. But yes, that does look suspicious. If it's a genuine replay, then it's awesome. There's also a skeet. Very cool skeet. The skeet itself is obviously genuine. Whether the rest of it is or not is up to you guys to decide. It could just be a very well lined up kick, as I'm sure it is. And skeet! Yeah! Look at the skeet. I want to get a good angle of the skeet. Hang on. Let me just... It's off in the distance a little bit, but that's because the skeet happens quite far away. I've got to turn chat off. I've got a lot of things this week, actually. Boom! Yeah, very nice skeet to sort of end it off with. Very cool. Very, very cool replay. And then we'll zoom back in. And we're back. Um, I can't really see anything else that happens there. Let's try and slow this down. See if we can actually deduce whether the kick is a, um, a genuine kick or a hacked kick. I mean... He does kind of hit all the body parts that disintegrate, so it very well could be genuine. I'll leave it up to you guys to debate in the comments, I'm sure. You'll all have a lot of fun doing that, and the skeet is very good. It's a very um, fluid and realistic throw. I like that quite a lot. Let's see from Jeff Cam, why not, and then we'll move along. And, uh, oh, oh wow! Gets mauled. Dude gets mauled. Alright, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this mid-app, so screw it. Yep, chat, zero. That's how that works, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> Moving along to our second replay for today. This is Snap Boom Crunch by Creeper224. As, again, can't remember the replays, don't expect me to try and even come anywhere near remembering the replays this week. Um, Alright, what happened there? Let's slow this down and take a look. Okay, so we've got a um, rather unique setup there, something we haven't actually seen. It's kind of like a backhand flip thing, which is a bit odd. And then a kick to Jeff's shoulder, which doesn't get the decap, and slams- Oh, I do, I do like that. Slams what's left of Jeff into the ground to get- Oh, I've never noticed that before. Jeff has Tori Bash written on his feet. <laughs> ah, you learn something every day. Alright, anyway, boom. I love the way um, it's just the impact that dismembers Jeff there. It's not um, any kind of punch, any kind of rip. He just throws Jeff into the ground to get a dismember. That's um, it's really, really nice. Let's take a look at it in normal motion. Can't believe I didn't know it's... Does it have it in his hands as well? Is it gonna be 66 episodes? Yeah, Jeff, it's written right there. See, U-K-E, Jeff. I, I had no idea. Good God, 66 episodes. I suppose they went... I didn't have textures on Jeff for the, all 66, but there's been a lot of episodes with him textured. I can't believe I missed that. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I really do like that decap. I love the entire thing. It's uh, kind of a Dante-esque flip in the air there, which is very nice. And then more of a ballerina pose than a hero pose, but still a nice pose. Just, La, reach for the sky. Very nice. Moving along, our third replay for today is Fire Habaloo by Fire Sun. Or Halabaloo. Halabaloo. Sounds like a magic spell. Um, this is a... Rather straightforward, but nonetheless awesome replay right here. Um, as you can see, we have a sort of bifurcating punch. A very realistic looking punch as well. I do like the way, except for the fact that, you know, it punches someone in half. That's not exactly the most realistic, but aside from that, it's um, a very fluid punch. It's not very stiff. It looks very good. And then we have, <laughs> kind of punches the air. Like, uh, okay, let's, let's get another angle of that. And there's also the decap as well, the kind of rap kick decap, which is great. And then, get ready for it, punches the air. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. And then, sort of a stationary pause there. I wouldn't really call it the hero pause, more of just a statue pause. We're inventing a new type of pause this week, guys. It's a statue pause. Let's see it at normal speed. By the kid and decap. Very fluid, very, very nice. Kinda wanna see this from. Eh, wow, not English. Kinda wanna see this one from Jeff Cam. Let's see if we can, uh, boom, get a nice angle of the thing from the side there. And why not? Let's see this from Tori Cam. We don't do Tori Cam enough, so why not? Oh, that actually looks really cool! It looks like it just kind of gets sweeped away. That looks really awesome. And then, dunk! Ah, oh, that's a good angle. That's a very, very, very good angle to have on that. Very nice! Okay, anyway, let's move along to our fourth replay for today. Oh, was that the fourth? I'm pretty sure this one's the fourth. Irita, I stole Orko's pancakes with Victor 4554's help. Missed the replay there, it's a really long replay name. Surprised it didn't uh, bug out and not get put in the show. Maybe they fixed that, because I've been noticing longer replay names lately. Maybe that bug has been uh, officially fixed. So I guess credit to Victor 4554 for help on this one, this Irita's replay. Alright, third time's the charm. I'm actually gonna watch what happens here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like a. <laughs> I don't know, dancing almost, and then BOOM! Very nice. That's, that's a replay that's gonna look good from Jeff Cam. I think you can all agree, this is gonna look great from Jeff Cam. Let's wait for the punch, and... Uh, BOOM! Yeah, that's, um, 
That is a thing. That is a very, very big thing. That's a punch. And boom! Very cool. Hang on, let's, let's get a unique angle on this. Let's get one on Jeff's head. And as long as he doesn't fly it, boosh! Very, very nice. Follows it up with a, um, what does he follow it up with there? I didn't quite see. Uh, so you've got the, uh, hang on, boosh! And then, ah, oh, but I get kick! Sweet! And then kind of just tears, oh, the, and kicks his ass. Literally kicks what's left of his ass. It's unnecessary. You don't need to kick him in the ass. He suffered enough. Oh, poor Jeff. I really need somebody to come up with a custom skin for Jeff that replaces UKE with Jeff, because, you know, for obvious reasons. I also just noticed- I've never looked at Jeff! I'm noticing all kinds of new things about his textures. I don't know why suddenly I've noticed all of this. Alright, anyway, uh, let's move along to our fifth replay for today. Uh, Terrell, Flying Grace by Terrell. Uh, vaguely remember this being, yeah, a manipulation thing, and I remember being really impressed with it. Slightly lower gravity than normal it would seem, and you know, you guys know how much I love manipulation, and he follows it up with a very nice decap. Sort of bifurcate dick kick there, almost kicks him in the dick, and then tears his crotch apart. Very, very, very nice. And they're not really a hero pose, more of just a, you know, what's up, what's up? I'll, uh, show you guys what I mean at the end there. That did sound a little bit crazy, because you couldn't see it while I was saying it. Um, really, really nice manipulation, great decap. Uh, bifurcates Jeff. Uh, dismembers what's left of his crotch, and then lands arms ready. What's up? What's up? I thought this was America. Looks, uh, looks very cool. All right, one more time. One more time for good measure. I do like a good, uh, a good display of manipulation, and this is certainly one. Just the light jabs to keep Jeff in the air, then he lands back in his feet. Decap, bifurcate, crotch, rip, and Randy Marsh. Very, very nice. A little bit badly timed there, but oh well. Replay six, backfire, Mats by Mats2801. Oh, I like, I really like this one. I mean, it's not, um, I, I vaguely remember this again. It's not, it's clearly, clearly not the most fluid replay in the world, but I always like to throw in one of the, um, uh, lower, lower ranked replays every now and again, just to prove, yeah, there's still a bit of love for lower ranked replays on this show. This is how this show got started, so it'd be very horrible of me to just start ignoring those replays. And, uh, one of the things I liked about this replay was the decap. It, it's, um, very purposeful, the way the leg kind of back kicks to decap Jeff there. I can imagine if I'd done something like that a year ago, I'd have been extremely impressed, so, you know, it's, uh, it's cool, and I like it. And there's always gonna be a spot for, you know, lower class replays on this show, because that's how this show got started. Very, very nice. Anyway, moving along to our seventh replay for the day. Crazy! Everything I do by the crazy. Or three, th three crazy. There we go. And I missed that, let's watch that again. Uh, so you've got, oh, kind of like a, <laughs> that looks like that, um, that thing dancers do, where they, like, grab an invisible rope, or mimes, not dancers. I guess both could do it. Uh, where they grab an invisible rope and then yank themselves over. That's pretty cool. And then kind of, Bitch slaps Jeff to the thigh to bifurcate him there. That's an interesting uh, thing. Sort of backward snap kick, throws Jeff, and he's gonna get a skeet. Oh, yeah, skeet. That's a good replay. Three crazy did really well. That is a really nice one. Bifurcate, sort of backward snap kick to get the rest of the arms off. Throws Jeff's head and hurls. I th it's either it's his own arm. Throws his own hand at Jeff's head off into the distance there. And then finally, we have a hero pose. Sort of. Tilting, tilting, G guys, guys, help, ah, ah, down, I'm down, god damn it. <laughs> he just froze up, he completely, <laughs> he completely froze up. Great replay though, really great replay. Bad for Kit, uh, decap, not decap, uh, dismemberment, and skeet. Very nice. And then the, uh, <laughs> the uh, statue mode, it's a statue pose because, as you just saw, <laughs> Alright, let's move along to our eighth replay for today. Probably not, probably miscounting. Good night, Jeff by Cheeseburger, who suddenly has some Dragon Ball Z hair, which has some bizarre fucking physics. Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll look at what happened in that replay in a moment. What is going on with his hair? Alright, we gotta slow this one down. I'm gonna let the frames run out. What is that? That's that's not hair. That's like I, I, jello. It's like that, what is that? Jesus. Alright, I'm slowing it down. Okay, that is not, that's not how hair behaves unless your hair is made out of rubber. That's ridiculous. What the? I mean, I, I get it. It, it. it simulates hair physics, yeah, but the hair shouldn't stretch. That's so weird. I don't remember Goku doing that. I mean, yeah, I like the physics, but still. That's not hair. That's, that's jelly. All right, anyway, what, what happened in the street play? Um, okay, so we have a... Oh, but nice bife kick kicked to Jeff's low stomach and a decap. Very straightforward. And, and then, and then, well, good night, cheeseburger, I guess. Just lies down. He's, he's all tuckered out. He's had enough. Really, uh, really nice roundhouse kick there. And there it is. 
boom, bifurcates kiss Jeff, kicks off what's left, causing a decap, and then, meh, cheeseburger tired. Cheeseburger tired. <laughs> All right, one more time. Uh, mm, bifurcate and decap. He kind of actually pushes off what's left of Jeff's body there. It's not really a kick, he kind of scrapes it off, just bleh, and drops the head. Very nice, very purposeful, very, very, very stylish. Let's move on to our ninth replay for the day. Or is, no, it's not, this is the last but one re- I don't care. Okay, what, no! What the fuck is that? It's a head nipple! He has a nipple on his head! What the f- I'm not paying $16 for that! I wouldn't pay one dollar, what the f- What is going on with the physics of this game? What is going on with the physics of this game? That's- Is it just because I'm running on a low-end computer or is that- Is that meant to be a Christmas hat or is that like a beanie? I don't- Hang on. Hold still, Ken. I just- Alright. Um, alright, I'm, I'm not- I guess- Yeah, that's just the way head nipples would look. I wonder if he can attack with that. Like, if he whips his head enough, will it like kill someone? That's so weird. Alright, anyway, the replay. Uh, bizarre dance. And then- uh, Oh, wow, a very powerful kick to get the decap. Seems like this was a one-shot replay and hero pose. Very nice fa uh, premium facial massage by Ken Seven. I forgot. Oh, oh, seven. I forgot to read that one out. Let's check this out from Jeff Cam. I feel aside from the head nipple, this should look boom very cool from uh, Jeff Cam, and it did indeed. Granted, oh my god, that's terrifying. That's so fucking weird. Jesus, it's not just the head nipple. Okay, it's it's not. There's that little dance there. Hang on, can I reverse it? Uh, I need. I guess I need to let the replay run out first, and then we can. We can reverse that and see what that looks like in, in uh, reverse, right? Just hang about for 500 frames and dum de dum I understand that the physics has to- it kind of has to be like that, but I've never seen it like that before. That's so weird! I think it's meant to be a Christmas hat, right? I assume so. Maybe it is the new beanie. It looks like a nipple. Alright, anyway. I got- I gotta just reverse and do the dance, do the dance, do the dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so weird! It's so weird. So fucking bizarre. Does he need to set up the replay like this? I just... Alright, whatever. Anyway, it's a cool... Again, a great decap, lovely replay, but that, that intro is so bloody weird. Alright, anyway, let's move along to... Our last... Yes, I knew it was nine. I kept count. This is the first time in 66 episodes I kept count of the replays. This is Manly Potato number 14 by Manly Potato and Wrap Up On. And as come to be expected, it's great. Great. I love that little spin at the end. And then Hero Pose. With that... Bizarre face and fez that just makes the hero pose look comical. We're gonna have to slow this one down, I think, to see what's going on. But we've got a great spin kick, something that deca decaps Jeff, a cool, what looks like a full 360 spin there. He might actually be in a mod. It's kind of hard to say because there's um a crazy amount. Of, that's like, does he actually spin full 360? There, let's keep an eye on it. Yeah, it does seem like this might be a 360 mod. It's hard to tell. Maybe I'm. Maybe that's just a really clever spin. I can't really tell. Anyway, let's slow this one down. Okay, so we have, um, I'm just trying to keep an eye for 360 stuff now. Maybe we'll test it, maybe I'll E it and see if this is a 360 mod. Kicks to get the bifurcate, set follow-up kick to demolish Jeff, and then a third kick to get the decap, because his neck stump is still attached. And then, uh, what looks like, I'm keeping an eye on his legs here, um... No, it, no, that actually looks all genuine. That doesn't look like a 360, to be honest. That might just be him spinning himself really, really, really fluidly. And then, hero pose. Just for the sake of balance, let's, let's E it. Just, just to make sure, although I am pretty confident it's not a 360 mod now. Yeah, if it was, things would be twirling and spinning. Uh, gotta be honest, replay probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have been put in the show if this was its quality. If it was this good, you know, if it was just him flopping around on the ground like I made him do here, we'll load up the replay to go out on. We'll watch it one more time, just... Meh. Yeah, if this had been a replay, probably wouldn't have been put in the show. Gotta be honest, not as impressive as what it was. Uh, okay, sorry about this. Let's just jump back into our replays. Potato. Here we go. And okay, so we'll leave this one play in the background while we wrap up. Now, you may have noticed that this isn't medium, uh, lo-fi. Lo-fi week anymore. I didn't mention it at the start because I'm I'm not drunk, I'm sober. Uh, this is medium-fi week where we're not quite back up to full power, but Tori Bash looks a little bit better and runs a little bit better thanks to some technical wizardry. We're hoping to be back up to 100% next week. Granted, I've been saying that for about 85 weeks at this point, but sooner or later things will be fixed. But now Tori Bash looks good and we can continue with everything except the tournament because I still can't get the atmospheres to run correctly and can't capture the intros. It's annoying, but at least it now looks good. The only thing that's suffering a little bit is the microphone quality because I've had to use an older mic, but it should... 99% of you wouldn't have even noticed that if I hadn't mentioned it because it's it's a pretty good mic. <clears throat> 
Anyway, I'm glad to be back up to, uh, to like medium fire, I guess. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, please comment, like, subscribe, and favorite. And next week, I won't forget. I've been Jack Morris from Final Five Films, guys, and I shall see you next time. Bye.